Okay, well, I got the code written last night. Uh, it took me a while to make sure everything worked, um, but it works. So let's look at kind of what we got going on here. First, uh, all the wires we're just tucking in to make sure we don't have anything touching any open wires. Each of these switches, put it all together here, show you what it all looks like. Looks really messy right now, but it'll clean up nice. What I have set up is that this switch will control this uh, outlet, this switch will control this outlet, and what that means is that the Arduino that's inside, the control unit way back there, it will all normally uh, automatically turn the relays on, or the relay on that will power both of these, it'll energize both of these, and that will turn on the fans and the heaters. If something goes wrong, I want to be able to quickly turn those heaters and fans off on site without having to go and log into the computer system. Uh, right now, I don't have that control system set up to where I could do it from my uh, the ARM-based computer that I eventually want to have. So that means I can run over and I can turn these switches. Here's the on position. I can turn them to off and power down everything locally. So that will keep us a lot safer. We got the ground, the neutral, and the line. And what those are going to plug into eventually is we'll have the main power coming in right there, and the main power will continue going out to other electrical units. So this will be put in line. So the next step here is to actually go mount this. Uh, I put mounting holes in, those two holes right there. We will mount it to the galvanized steel uh, through there, right there and there, with some self-tapping screws. It will connect to the internet, uh, to the server, excuse me, uh, via Wi-Fi. Coming out the back right here, we have two temperature sensors. One of these is going to go inside the habitat, and the other one will go outside of the habitat. And I didn't like, right now I just have them running straight through, but in the future I actually want to get a connector type so that I can unplug them, plug them in. You don't have all these wires. But for right now, I need to get this thing up so we can start controlling those heaters more accurately. So we got all of our fit done. We got code written. And right now, so, and of course, this will sit on top of all this once we get it all put together, so it'll be nice and pretty. That's it. It's time to go install. Hey, everybody. Mission Control. Okay, well, it's time to install our Arduino control unit uh, for HVAC. Uh, it's going to control the circulating fan inside of lanes 2 and 3, as well as the heaters inside of lanes 2 and 3. It's programmed to turn on at the top of every hour and run for 15 minutes. Now I can adjust that uh, so it can run as long as I want. This will save us fuel. It'll also cut down on the amount of fumes that come off of the uh, uh, diesel slash kerosene heater. So we're going to go ahead and start mounting this. I pre-drilled the holes for the mount. This is going to be the outside thermometer and it's going to go right through the building just like this. It's a little Velcro right there. Be able to have that outside. This is going to be our inside thermometer. I'll probably Velcro it right up here. I basically collected tools from anyone and uh, who wanted to give them to me as well as uh, getting my own. I got this one for Christmas uh, for my brother-in-law. Thank you, Scott. This has turned into like the most awesome uh, tool that I have. I'm going to mount it now. I got some self-tapping screws. It's time to go turn the power off. Okay, I got it open. I'm going to do a quick test with my voltmeter here. It's dead, so I'm okay to touch it. Next step here is I gotta expose these wires so I can get to them. So I've cut myself too many times. I like to do this a little bit safer these days.
all you electricians out there, I really appreciate what you do every day. I'm not a big fan of electrical work, but I've had to learn. Father-in-law was really pivotal in that, teaching me. Thank you. Man, oh man, that looks like a mess. You gotta get that all cleaned up. This is gonna be cool when it's running though. Okay, so now I'm bringing main power into our Arduino box. I'm just gonna get it in there and secure it, and then I'll trim off the excess, and we'll lock this bad boy up, do some testing. Okay, so we just turned the power on. You see we got the light there, lights green on the DC power, and we also have blue lights back there on the Arduino, so we are live. Okay, so we got everything in here right now. I just have it loosely sitting. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the test to finish before I tidy it all up, uh, which will be probably about 45 minutes from now. So, there it is. It's looking nice and pretty. Put a faceplate on it. We've got temperature sensors to mount temperature sensor going outside all in all pretty happy with it so far okay so the good news is we just got to the top of the hour you can't see it back there but there's a, oh there it is that red light the relay kicked on I've got the two uh, heaters plugged in so I'm gonna plug in the fans here There we go the heater kicked on and the fan is going go over to lane three Heater's on, fan is going. Should turn off in about 15 minutes. Okay, here we are. Tightening up the face plate. The test was successful. Make sure that everything works here when I put it back together. And it goes over there. And that one in. There we go. First one just turned on. Waiting for it. And there it comes. Second one just came on. We did it. Okay, here we are inside of lane two. We got about one minute left until this thing should turn off. The microgreens, by the way, are doing really, really well. It's 52 degrees Fahrenheit in here right now, and I've only had this thing going for 15 minutes. It's about 17 degrees Fahrenheit outside. We have the sun out today. I think we're gonna make it. Yay! Yay! It worked! It turned off right on time.